So Nintendo's going to kill it this holiday. I think we all can see this coming, not just because Age of Calamity is coming out as their big holiday title uh, and is looking to be pretty hype right now with that free demo, uh, which, you know what, maybe I'll do some demo impressions of that here over the weekend uh, once I get clear of some college work. But I think the bigger issue uh, for Nintendo this holiday isn't even the PlayStation 5 or the Xbox Series X. It's that this is the third holiday period for Switch, really. I mean, maybe fourth, I suppose, because you think 2017, 2018. Yeah, so I guess this is the fourth holiday uh, period for Nintendo. And here we are in this period, and Nintendo is basically giving us the same bundle again. Now, we've been waiting for Nintendo to do a price drop or at least offer a different game bundle or a game bundle that's at least of a current gen game. But that's not what Nintendo is doing. Instead, Best Buy has a, a, a section of their website open now for their Nintendo Switch Black Friday bundle deal. And we now know what Nintendo's plan is for this holiday. They're, they're not giving you Odyssey or Breath of the Wild or uh, any of those old games like that. They're also not going to give you anything newer like Mario Party or uh, Animal Crossing. You know, maybe taking the Animal Crossing Switch and throwing a game in with it, you know, and, instead of just selling it on its own. No, what Nintendo is giving us for this holiday is the neon red and blue Mario Kart 8 Deluxe plus three months of the Nintendo Switch Online Membership Bundle. That's it. So they've sweetened the Mario Kart 8 Deluxe uh, bundle with, with Switch by including three months of online, which, by the way, is like less than $5 in value. So they're not really giving you much additional value Uh Anyways, plus you already get a free week trial of Nintendo Switch Online anyways. So, I think this is kind of sad. Not because they're, they're not doing a price drop. I don't think anyone expected a price drop now. I think next holiday, uh, when there's not going to be as many shortages on PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X, and demand of Switch might start to dwindle. We'll see. We don't know. Uh, there could be a new model of Switch by then. I, lots of stuff can happen between now and next and 2021 holiday. I uh, shouldn't be. Uh, hopefully, we're out of a pandemic by then too. So that's a thing. Uh, I, I think that Nintendo was going to price drop this holiday. You know, every other system out there is more expensive than theirs, except for the Xbox Series S. Uh, and even then, Switch has a light offering that's cheaper than that. So Nintendo didn't need to price drop this holiday. But it would have been nice to see some better bundles. Mario Kart 8 Deluxe was a fine bundle for a single holiday. I think early on, 2017, 2018, I think you could get away with the Mario Kart 8 Deluxe bundle. It's like the best-selling uh, game on Switch. It makes a lot of sense. But the thing is, Mario Kart 8 is a Wii U game, all right? It's a really, really old game, fantastic game. We just did a Mario Kart 8 Deluxe tournament on Twitch the other day uh, and continued it a little bit on YouTube. Like, it's a great game. It's still a lot of fun. I still really enjoyed it, and I enjoyed playing it with the 30, 40, 50-plus of you that participated in that tournament. But the thing is that bundling this in this late in the game and not considering doing other holiday bundles is baffling. Like, you could have even kept the Mario Kart 8 Deluxe bundle, but threw Mario Odyssey in or something. Like, why is Nintendo, for the holidays, so adamant that we can only do the one bundle? Now, you're going to see GameStop and other companies bundle in some accessories and other games that they can't get rid of for cheap for the holidays, but these are not Nintendo officially supported bundles. Those are retailer bundles that they're just clearing out inventory. I want to see Nintendo re release an official holiday bundle that is something significant. It's just like 1-2-Switch, how that probably should have been a packing game with Switch like Wii Sports was. We, we got to start seeing Nintendo do something different with the holidays. The thing is, it's not going to impact their sales. The Switch is probably going to sell out this holiday anyways. Nintendo's probably about to report 70, 80 plus million units, maybe, maybe close to, I don't know about 100, but probably 70 to 80 million uh, by the end of this fiscal year and Nintendo is going to be sitting pretty and this is the best sales year of Switch yet so again this isn't that big of a deal and it's kind of a nitpicking thing uh, to even mention it but I bring it up because I'm just kind of tired of this bundle. Nintendo is a company that can create custom consoles like they, they've partnered with epic games for the fortnite console which by the way even if you don't like fortnite the fortnite console for switch actually looks really really cool they've also partnered with capcom in the past for a monster hunter console we're seeing an you know an animal crossing console this year like they have these really cool custom consoles but why can't we get like a better bundled package why why at this point are we getting the same bundle 
Like, even if you can argue, oh, Nintendo would never bundle in two or three games, fine. Don't bundle in two or three games. How about for one holiday season, we get a Mario 3D All-Stars bundle? So for people who don't own 3D All-Stars, still are interested in it, want a physical copy, uh, which, by the way, they're just going to give you a digital code anyways, but whatever, they want a copy of the game and a Switch, hey, look at that, cool, an incentive to buy it. What about a Zelda bundle, right? Hyrule Warriors, Age of Calamity is coming out. I'm not saying bundle that game in, but you know what would be a perfect bundle with Age of Calamity, a prequel coming out? How about a Breath of the Wild Nintendo Switch bundle? And again, that's a game that came out you know, almost four years ago at this point. This is the baffling aspect of Nintendo is when they just continue to milk the same thing over and over again. And I understand Mario Kart 8 Deluxe is the most popular uh, you know, game on the platform. Well, Animal Crossing may be past it by now, I'm not sure. But I understand having this bundle still exist. I'm not saying that we can't have Mario Kart 8 bundles. It just shouldn't be the leading bundle for this holiday period. Again, Age of Calamity is coming out perfect time to give a breath of the wild bundle that's just for the holidays it doesn't even need to be around all year it could just be around for you know november and december and call it a day but nintendo doesn't do it and i don't i don't understand their the reason their choices behind this uh obviously the mario kart 8 bundle does sell decent every year otherwise they wouldn't keep putting it out but i think they could sell even more bundles if they would just release smarter uh, more intelligible bundles that can read the market. Heck, you know what a Breath of the Wild bundle does? It pushes sales of Hyrule Warriors Age of Calamity, which is a brand new game. In fact, you know what you could advertise in a, in a Breath of the Wild bundle? Hey, includes Breath of the Wild and a demo of Hyrule Warriors Age of Calamity. Even though we know that demo is free to download off the eShop, having an, an, an advertisement for that demo is going to create interest and potentially parents going, oh wait, there's another Zelda game like that? Maybe we should pick up the system plus a copy of Age of Calamity. Like There's there's such a, an opportunity here for Nintendo to increase sales even more. And again, Nintendo's probably not worried about it because they're going to sell out of every unit they have. I think I'm more looking at this from the consumer side where it's just time... It's just time for something different from Nintendo uh, when it comes to their treatment of the holidays. So, I don't know. I know it's kind of nitpicky, and I'm loving my Switch, and I'm, I love, you know, I've been playing some Control lately over the cloud. I'm liking the addition of the cloud, even though I wish Nintendo uh, would go to a subscription model with it. We'll see. Maybe that's something in the pipeline for down the road. Maybe right now they're just getting it out there, and then they'll, they'll play around with this at a later date. I just want to see Nintendo put their best foot forward at a time when the competition is obviously out there trying to gain a lot of goodwill with, with their next-gen launches. And yeah, Xbox has been ticking all the boxes except for the issues with Halo Infinite. In fact, they just lost the director of Halo Infinite uh, again uh, after the most recent delay which and, and reaction from fans. And uh, there's obviously some development hell going on a little bit with that game. Uh, and obviously we've seen a little bit of controversy with PlayStation 5, but for the most part people are excited about uh, about that system as well. And obviously it has a killer launch game with, you know, people are going to probably buy Miles Morales a little more, to be honest. But I think Demon Souls, that's like the exclusive it has. Uh, that's that's the game that's really going to push sales there. People are all excited to actually get platforms that put out, put out games at 4K, can take your old games and give you 120 FPS. Uh, people that have been getting 4K televisions, you know, my 4K television, I've, I've, I've finally confirmed it going through some settings it's only 60 hertz it does have hdr um it's got everything so i'm not really going to get uh, 120 fps gaming there although i can get 120 fps on my uh giant monitor here but it's not it's only a, a 1080p panel so i'm not gonna I'm, I'm not gonna be able to get uh you know crazy uh resolutions or anything but whatever Maybe I just hook up the Series S to my to my monitor here and enjoy that 120 FPS glory while I play it in 4K on the TV. I don't know. There's a lot of things to consider here, but I personally am just frustrated that Nintendo continues to just milk the same bundle when there's so much more they could do that could create even more interest in other games beyond Mario Kart. But hey, what do I know? I'm just little old uh, Nintendo Prime sitting in his home studio uh, you know, just wishing Nintendo gave a, a different bundle when I wasn't going to buy any of the bundles anyways, at least not for myself. Um, maybe for my kids. Well, like, what about a Switch Lite bundle? Like, how about, how about something like that? Like, for, you know, you they always talk about how, or people always start to act like Switch is for kids, but you know what? The, the perfect kid version of the system is the Lite. 
Like, how about some bundles with that? Throw a game with the light. No, not. Still pushing the big switch. Still pushing it with a Wii U game, a Wii U port. I think it's just time for Nintendo to give us a little something more enticing for the holidays. Heck, what about a custom holiday-specific system? I don't know. Maybe something Age of Calamity themed? I, I know, I'm a big Zelda guy, so I have a little bias towards that. But anyways, I'm Nintendo RoboJets from Nintendo Prime. Thank you so much for tuning in, and I'll catch you in the next video.